social justice warriors usually defend their sexism and racism by using stipulative definitions. For example, instead of racism being defined as prejudice based on race, they define racism such that a system of power is required, claiming that it is the real definition and implicitly it is that what everyone agrees is deplorable. It is usually rejected by simply stating that that is not the definition or that it is a stipulative definition. I'm going to try to make a proper case for why this is a stupid defense. For one thing, it doesn't even refute that you are prejudiced, which everyone agrees is bad. The other thing is that they usually claim that they cannot be racist or sexist because they are black or female and does not stand to benefit from a racist or sexist system. So they are defining racism and sexism not as regular prejudice but as ideologies. And it is completely possible to believe in an ideology you do not stand to benefit from. For example, a billionaire could be in favor of disproportionately high taxes for rich people. But furthermore, they do stand to benefit from it. For example, black people stand to benefit from enslaving white people, which is covered by their definition of racism.